Hi, I'm Dustin, presenting work along with Ewan Lee and Michael Kirk about AB Street, which is a traffic simulation game built on top of OpenStreetMap. I can't go into full detail in five minutes, but in short, it's a game that imports data from OpenStreetMap and builds a very detailed representation of roads and intersections, and then uh, also takes in extra data about where people um, walk, bike, take transit, and drive on a day-to-day -day basis, then uh, runs a traffic simulation on top of this. Um, so what people playing this game do is look for problems and then make edits to roads and intersections to try to make things better for, for different groups of people. The hope is that this will be uh, a project that's useful for local advocacy um, if you want to see some different transportation changes happen. But actually this talk uh, isn't about AB Street directly, it's about the technology it's built on and about finding other uses for it um, that might be more widely applicable. So what you see here is that uh, you can zoom in on individual lanes and uh, select them as well as buildings and immediately click and see the, the key value pairs uh, stored in, in OpenStreetMap. Um, this is significantly faster and more fluid than the, the query features tool on the main website and so it, it could have value uh, just, just for that. Another piece of AB Street currently is a, uh, a tool dedicated for mapping on-street parking. And so here you're able to click a particular segment of the road and then say which side of the street has parking. Um, and this is a very uh, simple to build on, on top of the, uh, the libraries in, in AB Street. And so there may be other similar uh, viewers and editors that could be specialized for different purposes. Um, you might ask why it's worth uh, trying to render OpenStreetMap in such detail. Um, and one of the answers is for uh, quality assurance. So here you might not notice anything wrong, but if you look at the, the view rendering individual lanes, you'll see that there's a bike lane uh, tagged on one side of the road, and this is probably an error. Um, but you wouldn't really notice that from using the main render. So uh, displaying things in more detail can help you catch errors in your mapping. Um, so in short, uh, if you are a programmer or if you have ideas for applications built on top of OSM, um, I'd like to take the work that I've done in AB Street and make it generally accessible to you uh, in whatever way that's convenient to help you build uh, something cool. So specifically, some of the things that might be useful are um, instead of treating roads as uh, as ways that happen to intersect, um, AB Street or the AB Street map model can give you uh, the geometry of individual lanes and the geometry of the intersection. Um, and of course, this is a this is a best guess, but it works pretty well in, in many situations. Um, the second thing I can give you is a, uh, a model of movement between different lanes, and this comes from the, the mapped uh, turn lanes and restriction relations in OSM, um, and the Pathfinder can kind of uh, interpret these things and, and also handle areas where uh, there's no through traffic allowed for some road users or all road users. Um, another thing that may be useful is uh, instead of just the, the kind of simple model of uh, parking lots that OSM uses with parking aisles in an area, um, AB Street attempts to auto automatically generate uh, the number and position of different spots along the along the parking lot. And again, this is just a heuristic guess, but it's uh, it's possibly a reasonable one for some use case that you might have. Um, another thing is the uh, more detailed modeling of traffic signals. So at a particular intersection, um, AB Street automatically infers uh, what movements are possible at the same time and which ones are likely to be protected. Uh, versus things like left turns where you have to first yield. Um, and so the uh, currently, today I'm working on some, some tough stuff in the map model. Um, one issue is importing bus routes and kind of snapping them to the map correctly is, uh, is difficult. And another is that uh, there are a lot of sidewalks and cycle paths and such that are mapped separate from the main road. And um, as figuring out the connection between the main road and these separated uh, separated ways is difficult and it's ongoing work. Um, so, so right, so today I've uh, shown you a new way of, of rendering OpenStreetMap um, and kind of interacting with it uh, in a much faster way. And um, sort of given examples of ways, uh, or given examples of tools that could let you build new applications um, on top of OSM data. If any of this sounds interesting to you, feel free to get in touch uh, using any of these methods. Thanks and enjoy the conference.